Hi guys, today I'm showing you how to make the boss battle, a boss battle with multiple attacks. So th this is the flash if the character gets hit by one of the attacks. And this is like the movement. Welcome to part one. The movement makes the character move. Make sure you add all of this. Pause the video if I'm talking to Vax. I recommend you using change X because I tried it with move steps. It it wasn't it was weird weird. So I recommend you do change X. And this jumping code it's not made by me. I took it from somebody else because I don't know how to make a jumping motion. So instead I took it off and that's how it works. This is the ground, this is the boss, this picks random attacks, make a variable called attack, and this is, copy this, and this is the laser attack, you don't have to do this, you could just do what, whatever you want, and I'm doing the laser beam, but if you want the laser beam, pause this video. Okay, if, ugh, oh my mouse, stop freezing, and then. You have to make a broadcast called I'm hit and add a specific timer because the hearts could be glitchy. Like your help player health. And this is like the health sprite. And this is I'm still making if attack equals zero. Uh no not zero. It's supposed to be equals number two. The second attack. Show change X. Set X to, and then, uh, stuck. Pick random. I guess I had to get a new mouse pad. Hey, Ivanka, can I borrow your mouse pad? My mouse pad is slow. Not the whole mouse. I need the mouse pad only. Not the whole mouse. Ah. <sighs> Set X to pick random. Ah. This, this angle. You have to move it a bit. And my mouse is stuck again. Pick random. X173. Two. Two, 167 and there's the coding system for the moving spikes but, and then X and then it's already there so you'll add a wait one second block not one second so the player has time to move wait two seconds and then switch costume to costume I'm oh, stuck oh. and then and then the spikes appear and then pick random and then And I needed to change ghost effect. Change ghost effect to 50. Hide. Set ghost effect to zero. And, and then change ghost effect by 50. Pick random, change ghost effect by 50, and then set ghost effect. Set ghost effect to zero when costume shows, and then 
and then wait two seconds and then hide but make sure always add this to your attacks make sure always to add to attacks like when flag click click the, put the forever block because he's not in more your player's not immortal unless you want it to if you're like a hacker or use your imagination that's what scratch is all about and then if and then we add this and block so we don't want the red flashing and being hit if touching your player if it's touching your player and my mouse is really stuck oh I'm a little slow and then and costume equals num e costume equals one oopsie like this like it's still freaky frozen on me and then and if costume equals one and then you go down it could be like costume name or costume number but i prefer costume number is equal to one and then make a broadcast called i am hit Yeah, sorry, like it always does that. Ah, like the hearts get so glitchy and then. I'm still doing this forever, so. to the backdrops of course you could pick any song you want for your boss battle it could be happy dark whatever I choose this song because I really like it the problem is that the spikes if the you have it the heart go to gone instantly so we will add like wait five second block and then you can get hit and then it's still attack seven and then six seven two huh. and then you go here and then and then i get hit and i have to wait for attack how do you kill the evil guy well if you reach at attack nine i'm too lazy to make another attack called dizzy so if an attack is 9, he falls into the ground, and then you have to hit him. And then later on, his hoverboard, his, like, everything will shut down, and he'll fall, and you have to attack him. But if it falls, he'll go rise back after the few 4 seconds, and then, and then he'll start you attacking you again. But first, we need to make the health bar for the, the boss. So first, paint. You could do like the hearts or just do a health bar. I prefer a health bar because it's really nice. Or you could just do it in a variable. What did you do to him? Move this lock thing. It's set like this. Or you just set it like on the top set. I keep you can leave this on if you're testing, but you have to. Or you could turn it off if you prefer to do that. So here's my boss's health bar, and then when flat clicked, I think forever. But he doesn't know what he's doing. Set X to 36. A health bar could do like this way. Like, 
left to right or right to left. I think I should do like like right to left because it's really nice and I like it. So to X to the and then forever and then at the if block if equals nine and then add the and variable add variable no and block add operator and if part doodles if attack equals to nine and and then we have to change the oven exo access and then we have to do like a tilt position so when you so he will stay up not tilted when you fight so turn 15 degrees like add a repeat 10 times block and then when flight clicked forever if attack equals nine and then we have to check this off and then why is my mouse not <laughs> that was over next so and then turn for if attack equals nine repeat 10 times turn 15 degrees Lied one second three and he falls down like this glide one second two or you could do a different way how you get dizzy or not go back up <gasps> my sister's playing animal jam and then you pull it down like this and then we have to make him wait like four seconds like, like you wait until he get, his platform resets all over again and then repeat 10 times turn 15 degrees because it's like a getting up motion degrees and I'll show you that the first let's go to 23 point at direction 90 go here and ah uh, this is really annoying what is my mask and then you click out and then you oops, so you fight, and you click that. If you want to buddy me and AJ, you have to set the variable and zoom in into my name tag. Set attack and to nine. Click it. Okay. And then he falls down. And then we wait, wait for four seconds. And then, well, oh, no, 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 not supposed to be like that. Not masterpiece. Like keep doing that forever. It's like repeating in the loop. Repeat ten times. And then we have to add a weight. I like how it's one section block. I just got this animal on Sunday. Trade me pink things. Okay. Do I have anything cool I might want? Let me see if I have pink And glide one second to uh, to his original position, okay, one point twenty three. The plus one spinny wheels, whatever that is. Next to plus and then forty six. Oh, it collects my ecosystem. Ecosystem. We 
he's, I think he's doing it like in a forever. I put my little message token under my Discord. And then we have to set attack to zero, so yeah, it won't continue two, doing two, that. And we will still want to keep him showing. Set attack to nine and see no, what happens. Off. And then he falls down. And then you have to attack him. And then, what? Before he gets back up, and he glides back. I am so happy. I want to show y'all my photo. And then, this is the time when I went to my sister's dance. And I was dancing. And I was sleeping. Well, I took those pics because it was the first time I got my animal, and I was so happy. Now I'll delete my most unlimited. This tank equals 9 and if touching mouse points. You're not for now. Like if attack touching something. And this is how an awesome this is an awesome way yeah. how a health part works. Change X I really wanna get change X by 10. But it moves by a tiny set of rings, but I think I supposed to be able to And there we go. So, that's the end of part one. So, see you next time. Bye bye.